If you're trying to link schedules from Excel to AutoCAD and the final PDF looks like this, well, I can uh, definitely help you improve the quality of those prints. Hi everyone, Alberto here with BIM Lounge. Make sure you don't miss any of our weekly BIM productivity videos. Now, if you're having to work with um, tables in AutoCAD, you've probably seen that the direct link from Excel to AutoCAD can be finicky and the direct link with images can uh, be low quality. Now, let me show you an alternative. Now for this exercise, I'd like to use a decorative lighting schedule. The reason being, it both has text and images, and that way we get to see the result in the final PDF. Now, let's go ahead and set the print area. And to do that, you want to select all your active cells and head over to page layout, print area, set print area. Perfect. Now you want to do control print, and there are a few settings that you want to keep an eye on here. First, of course, you select your printer. I'm using Bluebeam. And then you want to make sure that you have a sheet that's uh, larger than a letter size. So it could be uh, 11 by 17, or if you're a metric, you could use A3. Now at this point, yes, you want to make sure that all your cells are, uh, in, uh, are included in the page. So fit sheet in one page. Now, just to make sure, let's get into the printer settings and uh, ensure that the sheet is uh, still tabloid and it's 600 dpi. Perfect. Ne and next you want to print. Now this screen is critical because these settings may reset on you. They may not be consistent with the previous one. So let's make sure you have 600 dpi there and you have a photographics type of compression you may find that this is the default just pick this and uh, 600 dpi and then you can go ahead and uh, print your schedule now at this point you have a schedule that looks great in terms of text the images look fine in terms of how they would read on a pdf with the right scale and what you want to do next is print TIFF images from here. So you want to go ahead and uh, click File, Print. And again, instead of letter, let's find Tabloid. And you see that that fits on our sheet. And then you want to make sure that the printer settings are still showing Tabloid in 600. And then you're ready to print. Now, if you have multiple pages, I recommend you print individual TIFF images just because you may want to link them in AutoCAD uh, separately. But now we're ready to print. And this is where we select, instead of PDF, we want to turn these uh, pages into TIFF images. So I pick TIFF and then it's still, uh, you know, the 600 DPI is still selected, so that should be ready to go. Great. So now we have these TIFF images that still look the same way as the, the original PDF, except we have easier images to link in AutoCAD. Now let's go ahead and uh, head over to AutoCAD. Now I'd like to point out that both the TIFF file and the PDF have a very small file size. And this is critical because if you have several of these pages with uh, lots of images, the file size in the final PDF may increase quite a bit. So uh, this is already great, uh, great file size. So now what we need to do is just, well, of course, make sure that the TIFF file is placed in the right spot where you need it to be. And then you can link it from there. You can just uh, drag and drop your file. And then of course you can uh, come up with a scale that works for you. But this essentially is the sheet that I'm going to be uh, printing from. So now I can head over to my layout where everything is ready with my title block. And then when I hit print, all I have to do is uh, select, I already have my settings here, but this is the right file size or the right sheet size. And uh, this is the right printer. I'm printing off layout and um, I think everything else looks fine. We can uh, do a quick preview and that's gonna be our table. And now we're ready to print. 
Now in this screen, always make sure that you're using a photographics uh, as in JPEG for image compression and uh, you may tweak the quality in the final step. Uh, I, re I would recommend starting from 600 and check the quality if uh, you realize that it's not uh, enough or uh, there's um, the quality is too high and the file size is too high then you can adjust from there. And as you can see, you know, if you zoom in, the quality looks like plain text even though it's an, it's an image and the images are at the right resolution for the scale that we're expecting to uh, open this PDF at, even if you print it on paper. Now a question for you, what other method would you recommend to place Excel tables in AutoCAD? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.